There was just a little bit of Ball State Cardinal inside Lucas Oil Stadium on Sunday with the Colts playing host to the Ravens. Of course, we all know Jonathan Newsom is on the two deep for Indianapolis, but Keith Wedding was also in the house. The Ravens traveling their practice squad quarterback every game this season, and Sunday was his first return to Indiana as a professional football player. It's a great experience. Um, you know, you get to learn from the, the veterans and, and guys in front of you like Joe. Um, you know, he's a great quarterback and someone that, you know, you try to um, just watch and learn from him and what he does every day and goes about his business. And um, that's something I try to do each day and you know, try to make it, a, make it a routine for me each day. Of course, Wedding's role is a little bit different in the pros. After four years of snaps with the ones in college, he now finds himself, like a lot of rookies, in charge of the scout team. My role right now is... Um, you know, giving the look for the opposing team. Um, you know, you, you read off cards and uh, you, you try to beat, beat our defense pretty much. With that, we have individual periods. We have um, periods where we work with receivers, running backs, tight ends, all that kind of stuff, where you still are working on um, the game plan for that week for the opposing team. It's more than just a new role, though. It's also a brand new lifestyle. Guys are playing for their families. They're playing for... Um, their fiancés, their girlfriends, uh, their, their kids at home. Um, it's, it's a job and uh, guys, you know, the biggest part is taking care of their body, taking care of what they have to do you know, at the facility before they can go home to their families. Um, they know that's the most important thing and so it's, it's cutthroat. I mean, they're going to do whatever they have to do to, to be successful and um, whether that's time or um, recovery or treatment, whatever it is, um, it's all worth it. Wedding is soaked up as much as possible in his short time as a professional, working with backup Tyrod Taylor and starter Joe Flacco, with whom he's developed a particularly special bond. The two finding a lot of similarities in their personalities and their backgrounds. You know, we both uh, dated our, our girlfriends in high school, uh, throughout college, um, and now in the pros, uh, going to smaller, smaller colleges and, and playing um, a lot of years and playing a lot of ball. Our families uh, are both really similar, uh, where we grew up, uh, how we grew up. Um, you know, he's a business major as well, so I mean, it's just little stuff like that that it's, you don't think about, but it's uh, really funny and it's, it's scary how similar we are. Joe and Tyrod have both been great. Um, you know, Joe, first off, you know, just, just the way he prepares, the way he, he attacks each day, and you know, he's, he's cool, calm, and collected, and I like to see myself like that. Um, you know, he never gets too exciting, never gets too low on, on stuff that he does. So I think that's a big part of playing quarterback. Um, Tyrod, too, you know, he's, he's there to help with, um, you know, questions or, or plays and, and that kind of stuff. And he certainly sees himself getting better. Just as far as game planning, the, the offense itself is, is so much more complex and getting used to that and getting used to what it takes to game plan each week, how much preparation goes into that is is unbelievable. It's, it's first-hand experience. It's, it's learning how to game plan um, the night before games uh, and meetings and uh, the preparation, all that kind of stuff that goes into uh, games is, is what they want you to experience for the future. One ball state certainly prepared them for. You know, playing there for, for four years, you know, I couldn't have asked for anything more um, with the coaches and the, the, you know, not even the football side of it, just the educational uh, part as well. You know, the, the faculty and the staff, all them um, people that you don't really think about being an athlete that helped me get to where I am now. Um, but alone with the coaches and stuff and the, the, my teammates, you know, that was that was a big part that um, allowed me to you know, grow into the quarterback that I am. And, you know, I think it's it set me up for a, a hopefully a, a bright future in, in the NFL. Of course, like every professional football player, Wenning has greater goals and dreams of one day playing beyond the practice squad. But in typical Keith Wenning fashion, his immediate plans and his immediate goals, well, they involve just getting better every single day, every single practice, every single snap. Here at Lucas Oil Stadium, I'm Joel Godet for BallStateSports.com.